This is a solution to a homework problem in Python to solve a uh, chemical engineering flow problem. So we have, if you come to the uh, course website, uh, there apminer.com slash CHE 263, and then come here on the right to the homework under course information, and then go down to assignment number 14. Uh, there you'll see a PDF on the first link, and then you see files. Uh, go ahead and just download that. It'll download homework 14.zip. Uh, and then you can extract that um, onto your desktop. Okay, so there it is. Um, and it should have the homework 14 IPython notebook. Go ahead and open that up. And we're going to be running through this problem um, number four. Okay, so there, here we have a, a solve a, a parallel pipe network where we have three pipes that are connected at the beginning and the end. The pipes can be of different lengths and diameter and pipe roughness. We want to give the total flow rate and the pipe properties and find the flow rate through each of the parallel pipes. So that was a lot of words. Let me just go in and uh, go ahead and draw a picture of this. So we have um, these pipes are all connected right at the beginning and then they split off into three parallel sections and then all come back together again. Okay, um, this might be through, for example, uh, tubes in a furnace, okay, where you have something you know, hot uh, gases flowing over these tubes and it's converting, uh, you know, heating up the uh, the water, for example. Um, no phase change here. We're just gonna assume all, um, all liquid or gas uh, for these equations. And uh, we wanna be able to determine the flow rate. Okay, the flow rate through here. Um, and these are gonna be volumetric uh, flows, so Q1, Q2 and Q3, and then also we want to be able to determine the pressure um, and a couple other things about um, how the fluid flows through these uh, these three pipes. So let's get back to the equations here. Uh, we want the three flow rates. Uh, we'll label the pipes one, two, and three. Okay, and then uh, the total flow rate is just the sum through each pipe. Um, because the pipes are connected at the beginning and the end, we know that the pressure drop across one equals the pressure drop across two equals the pressure drop across three. So that gives us actually two equations there. If we had a uh, pressure, delta pressure drop, um, you know, so there isn't a third one like delta pressure drop across two equals delta pressure drop across three, that would just be a redundant equation. We can't use that. Okay, we also need to relate the pressure drop equations to the unknowns. Pressure is related to the flow rate um, by this, uh, you know, this friction factor, and it's a, a loss depending on the length, the density. Um, let me just zoom in on that just a little bit more. It's dependent on the uh, this friction factor F, the length, the density, the velocity squared divided by two times the diameter. And we'll also use the uh, volumetric flow rate equals the area times the velocity, and the area equals um, uh, pi d squared divided by four, and that'll be times the velocity. And if we just rearrange that, the velocity equals 4q. That's the uh, volumetric flow rate divided by 2 diameter squared. Okay, and so if we plug all of that in, then we have uh, the pressure drop is uh, this nice expression that you see right here in the middle. Okay, we're going to try to simplify this down a little bit. We could just have all of these as separate variables like the pressures and others. But uh, we'll try to get it down to 6 equations and 6 unknowns. So we have the fr three uh, friction factors there, F1, 2, and 3, that are also going to be the unknowns, and along with our uh, three volumetric flow rates, Q1, Q2, and Q3. So we'll use the Colebrook equation, uh, relates the, the friction factor to the Q value. So we have um, a couple equations down here. We just have the total of the uh, volumetric flow rates. That's going to be 1. The second one is going to be for the... Um, the, uh, let's see, the pressure drop across one is equal to pressure drop across two. And then pressure drop, the equation three is pressure drop across one equals the pressure drop across three. Okay, this, those different segments. And then we also have the Colebrook equations relating F1 to Q1, F2 to Q2, and F3 to Q3. Okay, so we have here uh, some functions, uh, this function F pipes that's already defined. Um, and we have our x values that come in and then are conveniently renamed as our six unknown values. So we have the volumetric flow rates, 
and then the friction factors which we're going to try to determine. Now we do have all of this information about pipe roughness, pipe length, uh, pipe diameter, uh, viscosity of the fluid, and the density. Okay, so this is going to be a liquid, uh, liquid water most likely with that density and uh, viscosity and then we are just going to initialize F to be um, zeros. Okay, so if we haven't already defined um, NumPy, okay, then uh, what we're going to need to do is just define it up there. But we already defined it um, at the very, very beginning. We have these uh, this NumPy defined. I'll just go ahead and run this uh, cell at the very top. Okay, so I'm going to go back down. Um, okay, let me go back down again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and define uh, the functions here. First one's just going to be the total flow. So I'm just going to do um, Q total equals Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Uh, we know the Q total. We were given that right there. Um, and so we just put everything onto the right hand side of the equation and then say that has to equal zero. So Q2, Q total has to equal the summation of Q1 through Q3. But we're going to put all of those variables and uh, constants on the right hand side. The next um, equation that we want is, um, okay, the next one is uh, the pressure drop across one and two have to be equal. So let's just go ahead and insert that equation uh, right here. So it's, uh, if you need to use pi, you can use numpy dot um, pi. Um, but basically the trick with this problem is just typing in these equations correctly. If you want to continue on to the next line, you can use this uh, backslash right here. And so it makes it just look a little bit neater because you can continue on to the next line without a problem. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just define the third one. Okay, so that is uh, pressure drop across one equals pressure drop across three. And then let's go on to the next equation now, which is going to be this Colebrook equation right here that relates the friction factor to the, uh, the volumetric flow rate. Okay, so we'll define that one as well. Okay, and uh, just make sure you get, uh, you don't make any mistakes here on the uh, equation formatting. Um, and then we'll do that just changing it from F1 to F2 and E1, E2, D1, D2, uh, all those to the second pipe. Okay, so we need to relate the friction factor to, um, to the volumetric flow right here. Okay, so there's my sixth equation. Those are the three Colebrook equations, um, the two pressure drop equations, and then the total volumetric flow rate. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and solve this. Um, and I could just guess these six unknown values uh, right here until I got all of those functions to equal zero. But I want to be able to use F solve to do that for me. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just get our volumetric flow rate. And part of this hint says that we want to let Q3 equals Q total minus Q1 minus Q2. Okay, so just for consistency sake, we know that that would be a good guess. Um, so let's just guess um, some values here, uh, 0 0.004, okay, and then the, this uh, for both of those, and then the last one is just going to be Q total minus those two flows, okay, and then I just guessed 0 0.01 for the friction factors. Okay, um, and then the final thing, so I just label those with a comment, and the final thing that we'll do is we'll use F solve. So we'll, uh, the first argument of that is just this new function, the F pipes that uh, we created. So um, if we scroll up just a little bit, you see that this is called uh, F pipes, and it's a function of X, which are my six variables. And then we gave it our guess values as well. Okay, and then uh, the final thing we want to do is just print out all of those values. So I'll go ahead and run it. And then uh, you'll see um, the values there. You know, if I change the guess values, it still should give me the correct um, solution. Okay, uh, I can change them. Um, uh, let's see if I can go negative on these, um, or if it'll give me an error. Okay, so it's, it's here you can see that it gave me um, a non-feasible solution. Okay, so you may need to. 
start um, you'll start this in a valid uh, region you'll see also if you give it bad initial gases um, you'll say that like the square root went negative or other things happened uh, that were really bad it had a hard time finding uh, the solution for example so you've got to give it um, something that's kind of close to the actual solution um, we're gonna in in, a, in another video um, later on we're gonna cover constrained optimization so um, or you can actually put constraints on these and uh, it'll help guide the solver uh, toward the solution but for now we're just going to use F solve which is kind of an introductory uh, equation solver that's embedded in Python uh, in the SciPy optimized package and in this case we use it to solve um, this network of uh, three flows through these different pipes okay um, so we got the Q1, Q2, and Q3, and those ended up being um, about uh, the most uh, was going through Q1 by almost double, and then Q2 and Q3 were about um, the same. Okay, so that concludes uh, this video. If you want to go back, there's a couple videos on the um, adiabatic flame temperature solution. That one's kind of a long problem. But if you want to just give yourself a little bit of practice, there are two problems here, one variable and then also um, just a two variable problem as well.